Oops. Hey everybody, it's Lori Bragaloni, HappyNaturalHorse.com. I came upon this and I was going to snip it, but you know what? There's just too much good information here. And I don't want to um, pass this by because it's in my book, Natural Equine Remedies, on basically how to treat wounds, but it's pretty... It's pretty normal. I, I in fact, had a, I had two or a couple horses in my lifetime that had a joint infection. And if anybody knows anything about horses, joint infections are really serious. And they are, um, they're scary. And they can damage a horse later on. So, um, and this is the, you know, um, the horse article on it, which um, I will post in the uh, YouTube but I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Um, the fluid is filled in the structure, and it's the synovial membranes <clears throat> that are trying to push through, and it creates a bacteria <clears throat> and an infection in there. And um, not treating it right away and treating it aggressively um, can make things really, really worse. So, of course, call your vet. Okay, and what they'll do, I had one vet actually uh, tap the horse, you know, like they're doing with needles, actually tap it, but um, my my horse, uh, we had this actually, and um, it was about the same size, but I was thinking that he had tendon injuries because he, I just took him off the track and he had tendon and they cut his feet off, And but what it was is it was really hot when I went to touch it, so then I knew it was infected. Okay, and so instead of calling out the vet, um, I went ahead and helped him myself. So if they, if all else fails and the antibiotics don't work and you have to do the surgery, then of course do it. But I'm going to tell you something that's much, much easier. When you have an infection in the joint, the first thing, the very first thing you want to do is you want to hose it down. Okay, you want to hose it down. Hose it down real well. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is you can go get any kind of oregano oil you want. But we all know the... Oh, I'm not even allowed to do this. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me um, put this down. We all know that um, you need oregano oil. And this is the company you need it from. I'm not going to say the name. Okay. So um, they have a really bad... Um, yeah, we'll just go there. But anyways, your oregano oil from there. <laughs> Okay, uh, but if you want to get your oregano oil anywhere else, that's fine. Um, it is going to be alterated, adulterated with other chemicals. And you have an infection to deal with, so it's up to you. Um, and I don't even know if I can even put my link in the YouTube. I oh, won't. Well. I'll do it anyway. I'll just type it out and then they won't pick it up. So um, they have a really bad... Um, constraining order or what's called um, compliance issue really stupid company to be honest with you I mean, you know I'm not saying I'm just saying that it's not good it may help your horse it may not I'm just saying what I did for my horse I I took I was with Young Living at the time now I can say Young Living they, they don't really give a shit about that so um, but anyways let's get back to the story what you want to do is you want to Go here to Life Force, and you want to get this herbal body wrap, okay? And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put that, when you're going to hose it down, you're going to put that oregano oil on, okay? And you're going to leave it on there, you're going to put it on real good. You are not going to wrap it, okay? That's the first thing you're going to do, okay? Then the second thing you're going to do, um, I know we're talking about the herbal body wrap, but that's going to be for the next day, okay? We're talking about the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put that oregano oil on it, and you're going to... Like, don't wrap it. Hose it down real good. And then you're going to get these homeopathic member remedies. Um, Apis. Okay. Uh, and Apis is really great for um, removing um, swelling. Okay. It's for edema, arthritis, cystitis. Um, it's for really for pee stings too, but it is pretty cool. But um, it works really, 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 really fast. Okay, and um, I didn't know it worked on hemorrhoids. Anyways, um, it's for edema anywhere, anywhere that you have in the skin edema, um, which is a swelling. Okay, but you want to give them at least three pills of that uh, twice a day. 
at least for three days. Okay. And then you're definitely going to give them this on top of that. It's called Lendum PA. Okay. Definitely get them the Lendum. Okay. That's for puncture wounds. Okay. This is very, very important. You have to give it oregano oil, apis, and the Lendum all at one time. And now you're going to give this Lendum. Okay. You are going to give it to them at least three times, especially if you have an infection. And what that's going to do, it's going to draw out um, the wound, especially if they're painful to touch. Really good for um, pulling everything out. You can use the heifer sulfur if you want, but I don't think it's going to work as well. Um, but I would definitely use the lendum. Okay. And then, of course, you know, if you want to treat him with the uh, SMZs, but the vet's probably going to give him antibiotics. Now, my horse, I didn't give him antibiotics. I just did the oregano oil. And then I did this, you know, the lendum and the apis. Okay. And then the next day, there should be no, there should be like the swelling should be down a little bit. Hose him again. Okay. And then you can either do it in the morning. I would do it in the morning. I would hose him again. Don't put the oregano oil on. Put the oregano oil on the bulb, the bulb of the foot. I don't know if you can see it. Like the bulb of the foot right in here. Okay. Because you're going to wrap the joint up here. You're going to wrap the joint, let's see, up here. You're going to, you know. So you want to put the oregano oil on the bulb, but you're not going to wrap the oregano oil. If you buy this stuff, it's going to last in your thing forever. You take one or two, just one scoop would do. About two cups of water, boil it in the morning or at night. It'd be better to boil at night. Boil it up at night, turn it off once it starts to boil and let it steep. Okay. And then in the morning, um, you can reheat it a little bit and take your cloth, uh, cheesecloth or any kind of cloth that you're going to use to, um, wrap his leg in. You take, I take it out and I mix it with the Benonite clay and you can get that at theholisticcourse.com. And you're going to soak the herbs from this body wrap with the bentonite clay on that um, on this ankle right here. If you have a joint, if, even if it's up in the hock, you want to just wrap. Now you don't wrap it too tight. Just wrap it enough to get it on there. I use vet wrap after I'm done. And depending on it, and a lot of people stall their horses. <laughs> you guys. You know, I'm unconventional. I don't believe in stalling horses. Um, basically, if you stall the horse, it's going to get worse. You know, he's injured. He knows he's injured. He's going to move where he wants to move. He ain't going to move where he don't need to move. But the more he moves, the more it's going to work out. So I let the horse decide where he wants to move. Now, you can put him in a smaller paddock, but make sure you put another horse in there that he gets along with. And But leave him out. Don't stall him. Whatever you do, don't stall him. And, um, and make sure you get them those homeopathics. And I would use those homeopathics. The apis you can stop like after three days, but the lendum, I would do it for five days straight. But after you do this herbal body wrap, let me tell you guys, if you want something to work quickly, this will work quickly. Now, you can, you can even do this along with the antibiotics that the vet is going to give you. But I'll tell you what happened to my horse. He... As soon as I put the oregano oil on, um, I came back to feed him that night. His his foot was half the size. His, it was cold. I think I did give him like two doses of the SMZs. I didn't do a seven day. I should have. But by the next day, just with the just with the oregano oil and these homeopathic remedies, Apis and Lindum, he was fine. <laughs> and but I did do the herbal body wrap the next day just to get more of it out. And you leave that in until the next day, okay? And still give them the lendum and all that. And then take it off. And if it's still caked on there, leave it on there. And give another drop on the bulb to, of the oregano oil on there. And you can mix the oregano oil with um, olive oil or fractionated coconut oil because it's a hot oil. But it's definitely going to kill the bacteria in there. And basically, that's that's all I do now. You can also add echinacea uh, tea to that. The best echinacea for horses that I have found is from Herbs of the World. 
definitely recommend them for their horses, but you're only allowed to give it to them for five days, but it works so quick and it works so fast, it's not even funny. So, uh, but, you know, you can always go to the store and get yourself some echinacea tea. Make sure that you boil it down in two tea bags, two tea bags. And give that to your horse so he can boost his immune system. Some ester C would help too. Um, and of course a natural diet with um, uh, the Big Sky Minerals is best. And um, that's all you do. But this stuff is loaded. Let me tell you, it is loaded. Um, it, it says it has all this stuff in it, but it has much, much more. Much, much more in it. I don't even know if, um, I mean, this stuff is, it's got 27 select minerals and herbs. I mean, this stuff is amazing. And, and it lasts forever. I mean, you can use it for any swelling at all. It is just, it's just amazing. It's just an amazing stuff. And you can buy it at uh, Life Force Products. I'm not a rep, so I don't make anything on it. But um, you definitely want the herbal body wrap right here. And that's all you got to do, and your horse should be good to go. Um, make sure his foot's clean. And um, Now, if you wanted to soak it in Epsom salt, let me tell you, I would only soak it, I, I mean, I would only soak it or wrap it in Epsom salt if you don't want to get the body balance, and maybe some castor oil and some bentonite clay. You could try that, too. Um... I've never tried that. I use the herbal body wrap because I always have it in my house. It's great for bow tendons. It's messed, stuff's amazing. But you could use the Epsom salt with the castor oil. Make sure it's warm when you wrap it. Don't put the, uh, only put the oregano oil right here in the bulb. Don't put it here. And if you do soak it after you hose it, don't soak the whole thing because it's not going to be able to draw out. You want to soak from the bottom, like soak half of it so it can pull. Okay, if you soak the whole thing, the whole damn thing, don't even know where the hell to go. Okay? HappyNaturalHorse.com. Leave a comment. Please pass this video around to people that love their horses and that want to save money um, caring for them. And again, of course, call the vet. But in the meantime, you can always do this before your vet arrives. Okay? Share this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, friend me on Facebook, Natural Equine Remedies, Lori Broccoloni. Have a great day. Oh, i got to find my stop button. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Bye.